Okay, first you're going to start off with your black and white picture. Um, make sure if it's grayscale or any other thing besides RGB, you turn it to RGB color. Okay, after you've done that, now you're going to make a new layer by clicking on this icon, renaming the layer if you please to. It's easier to keep track of for me. Eye color or whatever you want to name it. Now you're going to take the pen tool and you're going, oh actually, yeah, make sure those settings are on, but first you got to zoom in. So we're going to zoom in on the eye where we want to color. Okay, now don't worry about only selecting the part of the eye that's supposed to be colored and not the pupil. Just select around this whole area with the pen tool. Alright, now that we've got it all selected, right click and click make selection. Now for this eye, change the feather radius to 2, click OK. Now go to your paint bucket and select the color you would like. I'm going to use a light blue because, well, I think it's going to look good. So we're going to get the light blue that I want. That looks about good. Click OK and fill it in. Now what we're going to do is you're going to hit Control D see if I can find it up here, deselect. Oh well. Okay, all you have to do is hit Control D to deselect that selection. Now go in your layers window, get, click this drop down and go to soft, make it on soft light. Now you can see it has blended very well with your thing, with your eye. You're gonna, I'm going to lower the opacity, see, just try some different things out. We'll keep it here at about 82. Looks good. Now we're going to make another new layer. Do the same thing for the other eye. Make sure you make a new layer. Scroll down to the other eye. And do the same thing as before. Select all around the outside of the eye. And once again, right click make selection. I'm going to chain start this one at 2. Fill it in. The paint bucket. Oops. Get your paint bucket and fill it in. Alright, now there's too much extra on the outside, so I'm going to undo that by hitting Control Z. Go back and right click. Make selection. Change this one to 1 and fill it in this time. Oh, damn it, did it again. Okay. Now there's not as much, that's what we wanted. Now do the same thing, change it to soft light in your layers menu. This one's a little darker, but that's because there's a lot of shading. But we want to change this one again to 82. The opacity to 82, so it matches. Okay, now there's all these little bits and pieces around the edge of my eye that I don't want. So I'm going to get the eraser. Oh, I need to reset my brushes. Don't worry about this part. Yours should be normal. And I'm going to get a small one, five. And just go around the edges of my eye. And I'm going to redo that when I cut it off. Control Z to redo this. 
start over again. There we go. Alright, that's a little better. Now, I'm going to go back to my other one. See if my other eye needs any. And it doesn't look too bad. It should be fine. Okay, anyways. Now, what you've got is very professional looking coloration here on the eyes of the picture. Now you can also do the same for her lips, fingernails, clothing, whatever you like. Let's use the same technique.